Elevator self-defense we're going to learn today. Dads, pay attention. You've got to be able to teach your daughters how to be safe. They're going to grow up. They're going to be out and about. They're going to be doing things. They have to be aware and they have to know some basic self-defense. So here it is. Your first tip, look, an elevator. If you go in, if you go in that elevator alone, that's going to be that's going to be mistake number one. Okay? But you have to be confident enough to be able to say to speak up and, and say this. No, go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. So here's how here's how it's gonna happen. Let's say, come on, come on over here. You hit the button to go in the elevator. Go ahead. Uh, hit that button. You open that door. And you're standing here alone. And you're about ready to get on the elevator. And look, here comes, here comes Mr. Big Bad Mean and Ugly, right? <laughs> You've got to be able to look him in the eye and say, go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. All right, and then you just let him go ahead into the into the elevator, and then you just, all right. And as he's doing that, see when he goes in there. Now watch, yeah. You can keep your hands out. I'll keep the door open. Now look at look at me, Hannah. When you tell him to go ahead, sir, and you're standing close like this, if he goes ahead, well, he can just grab you and pull you into this elevator. Okay, so. You can't be afraid of elevators. You just have to be aware to always put yourself in a position where you can set yourself up for success and safety. Let me hear you say that. Success and safety. Success and safety. That's right. Now, so when you come on back out here for a second. All right, so he, he's going to come on over here. He's going to be coming into the elevator. You, you're looking to get onto the elevator, right? And you look you look him in the eye and say, you know, go ahead, go sir. Ahead, sir. Right, and then step back. And as you step back, it's less likely for him, it's harder for him to grab you, pull you in, you see? You gotta be able to look up, talk up, speak up. Okay, you have to have the confidence to be able to do that. We call that verbal jujitsu. Verbal, you gotta be able to use your voice. Say, no, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. Okay, you also have to be assertive enough and confident enough to bark back when he barks back. Now, for example, uh, he, he, let's say he's coming and, and you were about to take the elevator, but you don't, want to be, you don't want to get caught on the elevator alone. So, you go ahead and push the button. Now, this time... You, you kind of give her some kickback. So you, you, you come on, you're going to come on the elevator, and you say, Go ahead, sir. And you tell her, Oh, uh, no, after you, ma'am. Well, after you, ma'am. Oh, it's okay, sir. Right. And then you can say, No, I'll wait for the next one. Because that's more firm and that's more aggressive, and you're being very clear and to the point. So first off, try it again. Say, No, go ahead, sir. No, go ahead, sir. And you say, no, after you, ma'am. No, after you, ma'am. You look him in the eye and say, that's okay, I'm waiting for the next one. That's okay, I'm waiting for the next one. And then step back out of the way. You see that? Because that stepping back out of the way basically clears the path for him. Come here for a second. Because if you're both standing, if you're standing here, when you grow up and get older, this is going to be more important. Right now, you're always going to be with dad or mom. Which, dads, if you're paying attention, don't let your kids just wander around without, um, without you or a family member watching them. Because this whole idea of um, grabbing kids today has been growing and it's, an, and it's an extremely big problem. When you grow older and you become an adult, you're going to be on your own. You're not going to have dad with you. So I've got to be able to teach you and train you these awareness things. Because when you come face to face with this, that doesn't necessarily mean he's a, he's a bad guy. It just means that you're setting yourself up for success and safety. So when he comes and you say, no, go ahead, sir. And he says, no, after you, ma'am. And then you say, what? No, I'll wait for the next one. And he'll say, no, I'll wait for the next one. But you see how you're both still here and there's a little bit of that tension there? But as you step back, that creates an easy path for him to come into the elevator. And then you just wait for the next one. Now your posture is important. Hands out of your pockets. 
Because when someone comes in a situation like this, and your hands are in your pockets, you can't do anything with them. You have your hands in your pockets, it's not as assertive. It's not as confident. Your hands out of your pockets. Now, chest out, shoulders back, chin up. Posture yourself for success and safety. Good posture. Hold your chin up. Right? You got your shoulders back, you got your chest out, you got your hands out of your pocket. All right? And you look confident. You look assertive. And the look, you don't look like a... Uh, you're communicating to him with your body language that no, I'm confident. I'm very confident. All right, so let's say we get into the elevator. Here we go. Let's go in the elevator. Now, watch what happens. You're in an elevator with more than one person, which is good. But now let's say you're in the elevator already, right? But, but somebody gets off. And now you're alone with somebody because you followed the safety tip of not getting in by yourself. But when you were in the elevator, somebody got off on the next floor and now you're in there alone with somebody. So now watch, when you come into an elevator, as a young lady, you always stand near the button side. Why do you do that? Well, you do that because Number one, you can open the door. Number two, you can push the alarm. You see that button right there? If you ever get in trouble, now don't do it now because they'll call um, security, but you can hit that alarm. So you always stand on the button side. Now again, right now as a child, you're always going to be with mom or dad. But when you grow up and you're a young lady, and if you're ever by yourself, traveling by yourself or anything, uh, maybe you're going to be given a jiu-jitsu seminar for self-defense for women or something. Maybe you're going to be going to a good fight tournament, and, but you're traveling by yourself. And if you have to get on the elevator, always try to move to the button side. Now watch this. If this guy over here comes into an... He, he, somebody else comes onto the elevator or someone is on the elevator, be assertive. Look them in the eye. Remember, hands out of your pocket. That's very good. Remember, chest out, shoulders back, chin up. Communicate with confidence and assertiveness. You have to assert yourself, and you have to look them in the eye, and you have to say, what floor, sir? What floor, sir? And you push the button. That gives you the power of control, and it doesn't relinquish it over to him to just be able to reach over. Because if he's going to come over and reach, like, come on, come on over here. He's going to go reach a, a button. Next thing you know, he's going to grab you. Boom. Now, that doesn't mean everybody to look shady like this character. No. That doesn't mean everybody you get on the elevator with is, is, a, is a psycho criminal. It just means you're getting used to asserting yourself, communicating with confidence, and being aware of what's going on. Hands out of your pocket, chest out, shoulders back, chin up, communicate with confidence. If you get on the elevator, where do you stand? Beside the buttons. Button side, every time you get on the elevator, button side. Okay, now watch this. Do you know what everybody carries around with them? A phone. So pretend you have a phone, you're looking at your phone. Mistake number, number next. <laughs> People are unaware because they're just looking at their phone. So you'll have no idea. This guy can come right up. He can snatch your, your, your purse if you have something, grab your money. He can grab you by the neck. He can pull you by the hair. Why? Because you're in phone land. Never, never land. Well, you're just, you're just, you're caught in scroll world. And you're not aware. So phone away. Same thing when we're out there. You always put your phone away. You're going to come into a closed space, an elevator. You've got to be able to put your phone away. Let me hear you say that. Phone away. Phone away. Hands out of my pockets. Hands out of my pockets. Shoulders back. Shoulders back. Chest out. Chest out. Chin up. Chin up. Look confident. Look confident. Get ready to kill. <laughs> no. Okay? Very, very important so that you are aware. Now, if a situation ever happens... You have to be ready to 
uh, clinch. Because in a closed space like this, he starts pushing you, smacking you, doing all this stuff to you, there's going to be a problem that can happen real fast for you. So if, 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 he, were to, if he were to grab you, let me do it with you. If I, if I were here to grab you, right, like this, right? Let's say this, this door closed. We're, we're, we'll still film this. See how it goes. I grab you like this. You have to be able to close the space because you're in such a confined spot that you're not going to be able to stop some shots and you can get real hurt. So as soon as somebody grabs you, you're here, your head's buried, you're coming in, and you're going to come in clenched like this. Hold on. And now, yeah, I'm going to get some shots in, but the likelihood... Or the odds of you getting hurt are much greater if I pin you against the wall and start hitting you. So you've got to find a way to be able to clinch. So cover your head like this, right? Keep your hands a little bit away from your head. Come in, clinch, wrap, and now keep your head as tight as you can here and feet wide. Good. Very good. Okay. So, phone away. Okay, phone away. So always stand butt inside. Very good. So we're going to review them before we wrap it up. First, let me hear you say, stand on the button side. Stand on the button side. Phone away. Phone away. Hands out of your pocket. Hands out of your pocket. Chest out. Chest out. Shoulders back. Shoulders back. Chin up. Chin up. Look confident. Look confident and be assertive. And these are the ways you can be aware and keep good safety if you ever had to get onto an elevator, okay? Number one rule though, especially when you grow up, you're a young lady growing up, always let somebody else go. Don't get caught on an elevator by yourself. If you're in that situation, now you've got some tips to stay safe. Okay, that's it for now. S make sure you subscribe and we'll see you on the next self-defense video. Thank you.